everybody and welcome to another live trains real recap today we're going to start off at tno junction where we catch three darwin award candidates you can see the first one is on the left side of the screen where his hands are full he starts to climb onto the train and right then the train starts to move and lucky for him it was a very soft shove and there wasn't too much slack action now Continuing to look at the bottom left of your screen, look at the hopper car. Another individual sees the trains moving and decides to go for it and crawls underneath. That guy got incredibly lucky and absolutely foolish what they're doing there. Now our last one, it was just a few minutes later, another gentleman jumps onto the train and as he's doing so, the train starts to move. All three of these guys got very lucky that these were soft moves and not the normal jolt we usually see here. All right, guys, moving over to Tower 26, we can see how EMD has evolved its designs over the years. So starting off, the yellow unit, that started off life as an EMD GP7 for Detroit, Toledo, and Ironton Railroad back in December of 1952. Now then, it went on to the ICG, or Illinois Central Gulf, where it was rebuilt into a GP8. And then after that, it went to Chicago, Central, and Pacific. And finally, it went to Rail Switching Services, or RSSX, where it currently resides now in its yellow paint scheme. All right, now let's talk about that blue engine. That's the EMD SD60. Now, it started off its life as Sioux Line number 6002. And it was built in August of 1987. After its life there, it was sold to CEFX which is a locomotive leasing company, and it didn't get its blue paint job just yet. It actually ran around with the Sioux paint job where they crossed out the logo and ran it for years, as you can see in the photo. Now recently, it was acquired by PRLX, which is yet another leasing company, and I suspect it's gonna be with them for years to come. Now staying at TNO Junction, we caught the Canadian Pacific number 7019, which started out life actually as an SD90 Mac and then rebuilt into an SD70 ACU. And it has the maroon and gray heritage block paint scheme, which is pretty cool to see in, in Houston. All right, over at Tower 26, we see a UP manifest train moving through that last engine. It started off life as Southern Pacific. It was number 253 in 1995. And then from there, got repainted to UP paint and has been working ever since. A while back, we did a video on high and wide loads and how usually if they're carrying large objects, they cannot meet another train on a curve because of the overhang. And this is a great example of that. All right, check out some of the other clips we've captured from this past week.
Thank you all for watching. If you enjoy our content, make sure you like and subscribe. If you'd like to support what we do here at Live Trains, hit the join button by our channel name.